Greetings, friends and neighbors, family. This is Joseph, here at Life Source with the Life Source family. Today we talked about being a child of God and representing God in the lives that we live. Um, what we are talking about today is from Ephesians chapter 5, um, verses 1 through 20. And our goal is to make sure that everyone understands what it means to be a child of God. There seems to be a lot of increasing confusion over what it means to be not just God of God, but what we call ourselves today is being a Christian. You know, um, originally, the people of God were called Israelites. You know, uh, in fact, the, the Egyptians in the 14th century BC called them the people of Yahweh. <laughs> That's what they called themselves, the people of Yahweh, or the people of the Tetragrammaton, um, however you say that term. And so today, um, in starting in the first century, Following the resurrection of uh, Jesus the Christ and the appointment of the apostles, we were called Christians, being followers of Christ, means children of Christ, means the nation or citizens of the Christ, uh, of the kingdom, so that we're all on the same page. This is what it means to call yourself a Christian. It means you and I and those who choose to be are citizens of God's kingdom, are children of God in every sense of the word. And so if you are thinking about being a Christian or wanting to be a Christian, this is the level you want to be talking at. This is the view you want to have, that becoming a Christian makes you a child of God, not just spiritually, um, but all of you, your body, your mind, your soul, your wealth, your health, your, 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 your entire life mm -hmm. becomes both the property and the purview of God. We have so many people today who've decided their sex lives <laughs> is, is not part of their Christianity. They've decided their political lives are not part of their, uh, but not part of their Christianity. That their economic lives, even their, even their eating habits, I'm not naming any names, um, are not part of their Christianity. Their social lives are not part of it. Then if, if, if those things are out, then what's in? What if all of the things you have decided are important are not part of being a Christian, or are not part of your Christian life, what's left? The honest answer is nothing that matters because you've shut all that off. And if, that, if that's the case, then you're not being a Christian. You're someone who's playing at it, you know, who likes the way it sounds, who likes telling people that, who likes sharing as that, likes representing yourself as that, but you're not a Christian because if you're a Christian, Mm, the song I shared today in church, I'm yours, Lord. Everything I am, everything I'm not, everything I've got is yours and is available for your use, is available for your direction and your, your appointment for your guidance and for your control. You know, we all talk about, you know, wherever you send me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anything you do for me, Lord, you tell me to do, I'll do it. Really? Does that include your money? Does that include your marriage? Does that include how you raise your children? Does that include who you vote for? <laughs> Does it include all those things? Because if it doesn't, then it's time to know we visited what being a Christian means. Because being a Christian means that we are following God's word and God's will. And not just the Old Testament, but the New Testament as well. It means we have to love each other the way God loves us. And that doesn't mean putting up with each other's nonsense and craziness and, and, and affirming that. It means helping each other, encouraging other, each other to be better, to do better, to live better, not live our best life, but to, real, to, to live the only true life that there is. And that life, that life only exists in God. That life only exists in a relationship with Jesus Christ. The question is, where will you be when all that you have lived and loved for and fought for and built and, and those around you have made, when all this becomes dust, as it surely will be, whether we are speaking theologically or scientifically, this is all going to go back to dust. God is saying it doesn't have to be that way. If you choose Christ in our choice to make Christ the head of our lives, hmm, eternity is our future. Eternity an eternity of amazing power and authority and love and grace and joy is ours. And so I want to encourage 
You don't have to take my word for any of this. You don't have to, oh, that sure, that sure sounds good, Joseph's talking. I have really great news. The Bible says all of these things, takes all of these standards and gives them to us in, in childlike bites so that we all get to know that Jesus loves us. Just like, just like the song says, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, and old ones and middle-aged ones, uh, and, and senior citizens, and, and, and everybody else, teenagers too. They are weak, but he is strong. I started this today by saying to people um, that our safest, our best, our best protection is not more vaccines, <laughs> is not more guns. Uh, is not more laws, uh, is not more bodyguards. Our best protection is our relationship with God. No matter what the world brings, physically, spiritually, otherwise, having a relationship with the God of the universe guarantees our survival, individually and collectively. Um, this is what we're talking about today. The only thing that's required of you and me is that we make up our minds whether or not we believe God enough to hold the, the standard that he, that he gives us, to, pre, to represent him in the lives and the, the, the operation of how we engage with the world, um, and not just with our friends and neighbors and our family, but our enemies, the people who hate us and the people we think we hate. God calls us to love them like he loves us, that means, yeah, taking time with them too and representing Jesus. That is where our citizenship, our relationship uh, in the world and with the, and as children, of, uh, as children of God, men, women, and children, as children of God, that's where it begins. If you can see it, please consider talking to God about your life in the name of Jesus. Thanks for listening. Joseph Washington, we're out, folks. God bless.